Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue with physics. Uh, today we're looking at free fall. How far? Okay, we're going to be looking more at distance. Now, we'll be doing this more in class, deriving this uh, equation. But the equation that you need to know is, let me get here, distance equals one half g times t squared. Okay, now what does that mean? That means how far something is falling. Once again, this is in free fall. That means no air resistance, only gravity working on it, and it's going straight down. But distance equals half of G. Um, that means half the force of gravity, and gravity is always 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. Uh, it hasn't changed between the last test and now, so if it changes, you know, within the next test, I will tell you. It hasn't changed, I think, in like 500,000 years, but, you know, uh, times time squared. So we're gonna jump right into this. Neglecting air resistance, if I threw an egg off the Empire State Building, and if I could, was able to actually, you know, like, actually this would be from the very top, from the needle. If I was actually able to clear these ledges and everything, it would take supposedly nine and a half seconds before it hit the ground, okay? Haven't tried it, don't think I ever will get the chance to. How tall is the Empire State Building in feet for all of us silly Americans? Okay, all right, distance equals one half G times T squared. We're looking for how tall it is. We're looking for the distance. Well, half of G, okay, I'm just gonna put down one half times 9.8 meters per second squared times time. The time would be 9.5 seconds, okay? So you take nine and a half times nine and a half. You'd square nine and a half times 9.8 times 0.5, or you could divide it by two either way, you would end up with a distance of 443 meters tall. Now there's only one more step. We want it in feet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change it from meters into feet. I know that one meter is 3.28 feet and 443 times 3.28 ends up being 1,454 feet tall from the bottom to the very tip right here, which actually a lot of people say that this top part was uh, built to be a Hindenburg uh, docking station, excuse me, a um, basically a blimp docking station. Plans kind of changed when the Hindenburg caught on fire, but that's what it originally they say was designed to be. So hope this helps you. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.